So if you look on your flywheel, you'll have right there your little pickup. That's your pickup. And what your your um, pulse generator does is when this spins, it picks up on this. This is where the keyway in here is set on your crank. So that that's one position. So this is fixed. This is a fixed spot. It's not like uh, you can adjust it or anything like that or with the cam gears and stuff in cars you can adjust the cam timing on that. And um, your, your crank has to be, always be timed the, the correct firing order. That's why you got top dead center. But if you use indicator dial and do all that yada yada and that's a different thing. But back to what I'm saying is when it goes it fires and then when you take off your stator uh, thing there's a pulse generator that's fixed so on the rebels this is fixed timing um, so you really want to degree your cam and not worry about your uh, advancing your timing if you want to advance your ignition timing what you need to do is get like a, um, and I showed it before it's you know your CDI um, if you have a stock CDI and you advance your cam, um, that will affect because you you have a, a, f a limiter on your firing. So let's say you advance your timing, you advance your timing um, with your cam, and then you have the stock um, uh, CDI ignition. So when you get up to the higher RPMs, it's not going to fire good. So that's another thing you got to watch out for. And my best thing to say is read articles. The more you freaking read, the more you'll understand this stuff. And I'm learning how to understand this stuff. Um, so you can, you don't have to advance your ignition timing. Um, if you have your cam timing, um, advanced or retarded. Um, if you can figure out a way to advance your ignition spark, and time it with your cam timing, then you can find a sweet spot, and that's when your fuel's at the most efficient level. Um, you will always want your fuel and mixture 100%. Um, sometimes that doesn't happen, but especially at higher RPMs, the more efficient it combusts at 100%, the more power you'll you'll make because you don't want unburnt fuel. That's um, you know, carbon and, and smoking and not being efficient. Um, if you advance your uh, timing and stuff like that, you get, um, it runs hotter, it runs cooler, um, it combusts in the cylinder, it, uh, you can lose pressure, um, which is lost power. If you retard it too much, you'll get ignition ping, which is knocking, and you don't want that. Um, if you retard it too much, you can like, it gets really freaking hot. So if you ever, I did this once before where I put like 106 octane in like 97 octane gas and I rolled it around and it was fast. No timing done. It was fast. Um, I got like 106 miles an hour out of it, but it ran hot. Um, the hotter you want it, excuse me, you want it to run hot and explode, but you don't want to. Um, uh, burn valves out. You can like warp shit, get hot, you, you burn out valves, you can crack your um, head and stuff and warp. So that's a lot of stuff to figure out. But basically for these um, for these uh, rebels you want to degree the cam. And um, I suggest you watch some videos um, on how people degree cams. Um, you can retard it or advance it. Um, with what I want to do is uh, I want the higher end horsepower. So I want to retard the cam. Um, so it's going to be sluggish, bop, 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 off, off the line. Um, the air and fuel is not going to be that efficient. Um, but you want to spark it as hot, like hotter the coils, spark whatever gas you can get in there. And then at the higher RPMs, um, you know, I'm going to have uh, a, a turbo on there, or if you have a header on there, um, it flows better. As soon as you, if you hog out your 
um, like intake and you hog out your exhaust on your heads. As soon as it gets a higher, flows faster. If fl you always want to flow low RPMs or high RPMs. High RPMs, you want to flow faster. Um, get that fuel in there, spark it, get rid of it. That's efficient. Especially if you have, you know, your um, your uh, gas and air mixture right. Um, that's why I have a wideband controller. So if you got that right, it's it, it's mixing right, it's atomizing right. You get a hot spark in there, and you produce power. Um, advancing and and degreeing the cam changes your power band. So wherever you put it, um, you're going to sacrifice where it's at. But if you can find the sweet spot, like timing lights, always good for it. If you can find somebody with a dyno, it's always, it's always nice to know where it's at. The more you invest in learning how it works, the better it's going to run. That's like anything else. So that were my things on advancing and timing and ignition timing. Um, so I hope that kind of explains something. Um, sorry I don't have like a, a little project to show you what I'm doing, but eventually I'll get there and show you how to do it. So, all right. Thanks for uh, listening to me ramble, and hopefully um, you can take away some things to think about um, advancing the cam and um, how to do that and combustion and how that works and um, how to degree, degree in the cam and find top dead center. And, and um, it's always good to have the right tools, and it's always good to, first of all, um, get one of these. I... I wouldn't know where to begin or how things are tolerated or torque. If you're going to tear something apart, get a Honda service manual um, or a manual of, of what you need. So, all right. Thanks, YouTube.